House Atreides of the Waterworld Caladan. The Atreides army is well trained and loyal to the Duke Achilles. In the past, the Duke formed a formidable alliance with the Fremen Desert warriors. But that trust has been broken and must be regained if the House is to claim victory. I am told that you are our best hope for a new generation of leadership. We shall see about that. I am Kalinar Coltras, Master of Assassins and Mentat to the Duke. This one seems bright and eager to learn. Let us see how our new commander performs in the field before we continue the briefing. An excellent suggestion, my lord. On Caladan, you learn to swim by leaping directly into the ocean, yes? Let us see how you fare in a sea of dunes. So, the desert sands have not swallowed you whole, yet. There is much for you to learn about Arrakis, Commander. You could view a thousand film books and still not understand its intricacies. Here there are storms of sand that will eat the flesh off your bones, then grind those bones to dust. There are vast wastes where nothing lives save the spice, and the great worms, and the Fremen. The Fremen are the free tribes of the desert. They wear still suits, self-contained systems designed to recapture the body's lost water. The Harkonnen are everywhere. We are fools if we think that we can stand alone against them. We will stand as we always have, as Fremen. And we will fall as Fremen without help. This is no time to stick to the old ways, Corlin. The Atreides offer us a powerful alliance. The Atreides. Our fathers spilled their water for them and gained nothing. Our father's time is past! I lead this siege! Yes, for too long. You wish to invoke the challenge? It is my right. As it is my right to cut you down and claim your water. Is that what you want? Sands do not shift overnight. But they do shift. As do we. You're right, Geisel. We cannot stand alone against the armies of Gidi Prime. For long, we may be forced to seek an alliance with the Atreides. We might also find allies among our former enemies. The Imperial Sadukar were born to serve an emperor. Without one, they have no purpose. If there's to be a new Emperor, he will come from one of the three great houses. Yes, but which one? We must go to Arrakis and observe them all. The Sadukar will align with the strongest. A house that assures a swift victory. I've not seen you before. No, I've only just arrived. <laughs> Welcome. Join us for a drink. I wouldn't presume. DRINK! Face dancer assassin. This is the crest of the Talaxu. Why would they attempt such a thing? They're mercenaries. They sell their services to the highest bidder. This assassination attempt was by one of the three houses on Arrakis. Perhaps one of these three houses is worthy of our assistance. <laughs> 
Come, old friend. Our troops leave for Arrakis within the hour. Conan surround us. Then we will spill our water, killing as many as we can. Our ornithopters rescued a Fremen patrol. Their leader demands to speak with you. Out of my way, Gaffla! You were not given permission to enter. Silence, Mentat! The Atreides saved our lives, true. But now such treachery! The bodies of my fallen brethren have been stolen by your guards. By rights, that water belongs to my tribe. I will have it back, or you will taste my blade. <laughs> so damn funny. The bodies of your tribesmen were wrapped in micropore to preserve their water. They can be returned whenever you like. The Fremen offers you his water. This is a sign of utmost respect. We may yet regain their trust. The Duke is pleased with your efforts. Troop reinforcements are on their way from Caladan. I have disturbing news. Unidentified adversaries have seized control of the Atreides frigates on a guild highliner. Whoever these terrorists represent, they have breached the terms of the Great Convention. House Atreides has permission to board the highliner with a small task force in an attempt to recapture the troops. The guild will not interfere. This act of terrorism may prove useful, Commander. There are also Harkonnen and Ordos frigates on that ship. It is quite possible that some of them might disappear in the chaos of the battle. <laughs> Representatives from the Tylaxu and the Ix have approached us seeking trade agreements. Both offer new and impressive weapons, but the two are sworn enemies. If we trade with one, we cannot trade with the other. With whom shall we trade? First, the Ix. They offer projectors, armored vehicles that project holographic illusions. The enemy will believe that our forces are much larger than they actually are. They also offer infiltrators, explosive mines that will reveal any type of enemy stealth unit. Next, the Tylaxu. They have developed human mutations called contaminators. These carry a virus that mutates living tissue into additional contaminators. The more they kill, the greater their ranks become. They have also developed bioengineered tanks that convert enemy units into replicas of themselves. These they call leeches. The Duke has never trusted the Tylaxu, but he will defer to your judgment. Will you trade with them, or with the Ix? The choice is yours. You've done well, Commander. But we've a long way to go before claiming victory. Mentat! The Harkonnen have stepped up their attacks on my people. We need help. The Duke is willing to meet with your leaders. Do you speak for all the tribes? I've been given that authority, yes. The meeting will take place at his palace on Caladan. Caladan? What treachery is this? You will be perfectly safe. Call it a sign of trust.
tell your Duke that we will accept his invitation. We leave at once. You see, it is the slow blade that penetrates the sheep. Come, we must inform the Duke. The Duke and his honor guard are at the starport, greeting our Fremen guests. They will be here presently. This is a very important and historic meeting, Commander. I think it wise to review some of the finer points of Fremen custom and protocol. This is a Chris knife of the Fremen... There has been a security breach. Several of my guards were murdered and replaced by face dancers. Where are you, my lord? I'm activating the homing beacon. We are under attack. We've been cut off from our only escape. My lord, we are losing you. The Duke and the Fremen leaders are under attack by face dancer assassins. They are cut off from the castle. You must bring them back. Don't fail. This could spell doom for us all. You have done well. The Duke is pleased. Our trust in you has not been misplaced, Commander. My people owe you a massive water debt. We will provide you with as many of our troops as you require. And the Fedekeen. Our warrior elite will fight alongside the Atreides. Yes. Excellent. Remember well the treachery of the Tylaxu. Anyone could be a face dancer. Anyone! Don't sit with your back to any doors, Commander. The bat's cry carries a distrans communication, a neural message imprint. The report is from one of our spies. This does not bode well. The report speaks of the Tylaxu harvesting Fremen dead, raiding Sadukar tombs, and pillaging Ixian outposts. If the report is true, Commander, if any of these factions, Fremen, Sadukar, or Ixian, request our assistance, I think it would be wise to provide it. There is a plot brewing. I smell it. It's a dead worm. Who would commit such an abomination? Commander, there's a sandstorm approaching, a very dangerous one. You must return to base immediately. Atreides, today we stand at the doorstep of one of our greatest enemies. Many of you and your families have suffered at the hands of the Harkonnen and their vile Baron Rakan. Now is the chance to remove their black stain from the fabric of the universe. Onward, Atreides! Onward to victory! The Lord, we have won the day! There is word of more treachery. What is it? The Highliner has abandoned us and returned to Arrakis. Our spies tell us that the Guild and the Tylaxu have launched a joint attack there. Without the Highliner, our frigates cannot return. We are stranded here. My lord, I... I have failed you. I will, of course, tender my resignation. Do not play the fool. How could you have foreseen this? Our contacts with the Arakeen Smugglers Guild. Do we not have favors due us? Old debts to call in. Oh, of course, my lord. Make the arrangements then. At once! My lord is a genius. We'll take passage on a ship of the Smugglers Guild. We'll smuggle our troops back like so much contraband. Come, we have much to do.
Atreides. Today we stand at the doorstep of one of our greatest enemies. Many of you and your families have suffered at the hands of the Ordos. Now is the chance to remove their black stain from the fabric of the universe. Onward, Atreides. Onward to victory. House Ordos is finished. True enough, my lord. But word of more treachery has reached us. What is it? The Highliner has abandoned us and returned to Arrakis. Our spies tell us that the Guild and the Tylaxu have launched a joint attack there. Without the Highliner, our frigates cannot return. We are stranded here. My lord, I have failed you. I will, of course, tender my resignation. Quiet! Do not play the fool. How could you have foreseen this? Our contacts with the Harakin Smugglers Guild. Do we not have favors due us? Old debts to call in. Of course, my lord. Make the arrangements. At once! My lord is a genius. We'll take passage on a ship of the Smugglers Guild. We'll smuggle our troops back like so much contraband. Come, we have much to do. We have arrived without detection. But the situation on the planet is appalling. Contaminators and leeches have been released all across the planet. The food and water supplies of all the houses have been tainted with a mind-altering drug, turning them into mindless warrior slaves. They fight for the Tylaxu and the guilt. Worse still, word has reached our spies of a devious plot. The guilt and the Tylaxu have been experimenting with the sandworms at a complex in a remote desert location. They've discovered a link between the worms and the spice. Their plan is to seize the throne by breeding a man-worm with almost godlike powers. They call it the Emperor Worm. The plan is perfect. It cannot fail. You have the woman? Bring her! Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. That face is a blasphemy. Why do you retain it? Do you think I cannot see the truth? It proved useful. You've done well, Celix. The Guild will remember this. The Tylaxu are always pleased to serve the highest bidder. I understand you drank the illuminating poison while among the Fremen, the narcotic produced at the moment of death by a drowning sandworm. Can you see your own future, my dear? I have no future. <gasps> Precisely. But your life fluid, your your water. It has a glorious future. It will provide our new Emperor Worm with power beyond imagining. By killing me, you ensure your own deaths! We will all die! But the Emperor Worm will live on! We are all that stands between the light and the darkness between victory and eternal slavery. Our allies, the Fremen and the Sardukar, 
have agreed to fight with us in this final battle. House Hicks will also support us. This is no longer simply a question of victory for House Atreides. It is now a fight for the very future of humanity. In the words of our Fremen allies, by La Haifa, long live the fighters! Commander, you fight for all humanity. Fight well. Long live the fighters! Long live the fighters! Long live the fighters! Long live the fighters! A new day dawns on Arrakis! Long live His Royal Highness! The Padishah Emperor, Achilles I! Is the war over, finally? Truly, there are those among us with the gift of prophecy. The ability to see beyond the present moment to events that lie ahead. Yet even their sight is limited. Time is a vast desert, and each moment a single grain of sand. Who can truly know what the future holds? Who can know what lies in wait beyond the dunes? I've seen the latest casualty reports, Commander. We are suffering far too many losses. The Fremen are becoming increasingly distrustful, and we are losing their respect and support. Your performance must improve, or I will have no choice but to replace you. Your water is wasted, Gafla. The body it fills is useless. The Duke has given your water to my tribe as a gesture of goodwill. It will be put to good use, I assure you. 